All right, JJ Builders, so we've just finished building the LEGO Ultimate Collector Series Venator. So first, let's start off with our character stand and the description of the ship here. So this set was released in favor of the 20 year anniversary of Clone Wars off, based off the show. We have our characters, Captain Rex and Admiral Yolaren. I love the detail put in Captain Rex. I would prefer a waist cape, not printed waist cape, but you know. But I do love his shoulder pad there. So we have the uh, printed piece here, really a massive tile on basically on the Veteran class Star Destroyer. And it basically gives you all the facts and information on the UCS Venator. This thing is a massive beast. A lot of small pieces put into it. There is a, there's exactly 5,374 pieces put into this set in total. As usual, I guess we can start off from the top of the ship. So we have the bridge of the ship where all the main controls happen. Some of the gun turrets are controlled from there. And the ship going into hyperspace is also controlled from there. A detail that I do like though is the trans loosen tiles and plates put into this set. I, I think that it really does make the ship a bit pop out. The triangle triangular tiles there on the side are amazing and the grills, a lot of like angled pieces, which I think make it pop and have a lot of, and it makes it obviously accurate to the, sh the shows and movies. This long like red line in the movies, it would open up and that's where all the troop carrier ships, aka the Republic gunship, would come out of here and go straight into battle. So a lot of red tile put into that. Another thing I like is that there's not too much studs on this set, because if there was a lot of studs, that really wouldn't, in my opinion, look good. I think the tiles are, are the way to go, it makes it more smoother. And then we have the sides of the ship where a lot of small pieces, like I see droid arms, I see like one by one tiles, a lot of grills. There's a lot of small pieces put put in on the side. Like uh, we have frying pans here, like spoons for the gun turrets on the sides and back. And one thing I do like is they did actually recreate a mini scale of the Republic gunship. It's like, like not even 10 pieces, which is really cool. And um, on the other side, the door is closed. But yeah, I, I love the detail on the side of the ship. It's in the, it's insane. A lot of, I see some slopes. So yeah, a lot of like robot arms and small pieces really give in to the ship there. Moving towards the back of the ship, we have the engines, which basically are controlled from here. They're like, they're, the, they're giving the ship the ability to go into hyperspace. So, you know, to save time and they basically go at light speed. I don't want this ship going into hyperspace in real life because it wouldn't survive that. And then on the wings here, we have in total eight turrets, the eight main turrets. And I believe I remember playing the Lego Star Wars Clone Wars game and I would control these turrets from the ship and it was very fun to use because I get to shoot down other ships. The barracks and the clone troopers would hang out and this would like pr pretty much their house because this ship would be in space and battle for like days, weeks straight. So they would need places to take naps or sleep at. So obviously red and gray are the colors of the Grand Army of the Republic. Red, gray, and white mostly. Lots of small pieces in the set, which is why I love it. It make, I think it makes the set pop, but my favorite part would probably uh, either have to be the ship down here or these translucent pieces because the translucent pieces, I don't know why, it's just, it just, I feel like it makes them, it makes the ship pop up, like the top ship, part of the ship pop a lot, so. And we cannot forget the logo of the ship or like the team logo of the Grand Army of the Republic. And there's not a lot of stickers. I do prefer print, printed pieces because that's, a lot of people prefer that. And we have like, Let's four stickers there, one, two, three, four. The smaller stickers are a pain in the butt to handle with because it, 
they get off and you gotta like rip it off if you want it to be perfect and it doesn't look good in the end. Not a lot of stickers, which is good. So that is the LEGO Ultimate Collector Series Venator. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I cannot wait to see what other UCS sets LEGO Star Wars uh, releases. I can't wait to see what other sets they might come out with.